You've heard of them? You've always wanted to see them. But how exactly do you go about seeing the Northern Lights? Let me share with you how you can experience this once in a lifetime opportunity. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to our channel. We have so many more destinations and trips and stories to share with you. Hi there. Thanks to all of you who have watched our Tromso video on YouTube. It has been our most viewed video so far and our little channel is very grateful for all your views, your likes, your engagements, and your comments. And by the way, this is my first time in front of a camera and I apologize in advance if I'm a bit awkward and clumsy. Since our video on Tromso went live on YouTube, we've had many questions about how we were able to see the Northern Lights in abundance during our recent trip to Tromso. And if you haven't watched our Tromso video, please click on the link below. Adrian and I saw them for four straight nights and not just for seconds or minutes, but for hours. So today I just wanted to share some tips with you that have helped us finally see the Northern Lights after a few attempts. We hope that you will find them helpful. While it is not a guarantee that you will see them since chances of seeing the Northern Lights are quite low, we hope that this will actually increase your chances. Just a brief background, Adrian and I actually spent several years trying to see the Northern Lights. So please don't be discouraged if you do not see them on your first attempt. It took us several attempts actually before we saw them finally in Tromso. On the first two attempts, we assumed that just going north of the Arctic Circle was enough, but it really wasn't. It actually involved quite a few more things. First, I've got some good news for you. The solar activity will be higher than anticipated next year. And it was already scheduled to be a good year anyway, so your chances of seeing them in 2024 have greatly increased already. So, after a few failed attempts and months and months of research, here are the 10 tips that helped us finally see the Northern Lights. Number one, pick the best place to see them. So where are these places exactly? There are a number of options to choose from, but some of the most popular include Fairbanks in Alaska, Yellowknife in Canada, Swedish Lapland, the Arctic Circle in Finland, and the three that we have been to, which are Reykjavik in Iceland, Sala in Finland, and Tromso in Norway. Two other great places for you to visit are Greenland and Svalbard in Norway. Providing the weather is good and you go at the right time of the year, you have a very good chance of seeing them at these locations. Our second trip is travel during Northern Lights season. September through April is a good time, but late October, November through February are the best times to go. But make sure to find the time when the weather is forecasted to be good with clear skies. Just be mindful though that during this time of the year, it will be mostly dark throughout the entire day. In our case, when we were in Tromso, we only had two hours of daylight. One of the most common questions we actually received from our video was when do we go? The answer to that actually is last November, so November of 2022. Our third tip is more about making the most out of your trip to see the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights are very elusive and can be very unpredictable. And in all honesty, your chances of seeing them can be quite slim. So pick a destination that offers a good number of attractions that you could visit and or a decent list of things to do. That way you won't focus all of your energy during your trip on just chasing the Northern Lights. Make it memorable so that you won't disappoint yourself if you don't see them. And if you do, then that will be the cherry on the top. This is why when we didn't see the Aurora during our first two trips, it wasn't so disappointing. Yes, we were quite sad that we didn't spot them, 
but we still went home happy knowing that we actually did a lot of activities that were fun and that would live, live long in our memories. And some of these activities were dog sledding, um, snowshoeing, whale watching, and one of my favorites is meeting the reindeer. You know, that was so much fun in Tromso. Our fourth tip involves the length of stay. To maximize your chances of seeing them, you should try and stay as long as you can, but I would recommend at least a week. This is why it's important to go somewhere where there are plenty of activities. Giving yourself plenty of time not only allows you to enjoy the destination you chose to the fullest, but having extra days will allow you to maximize your chances of seeing the Northern Lights. Should you have no luck on your first or even second night, then you'll have additional time to continue your chase. Number five, avoid going when there is a full moon and also try to find places with the least to no light pollution. Remember, when the sky is too bright and there's so much light pollution on the ground, it will be very hard for you to actually see them in their full glory. Use a weather app that will actually have the information for you that could predict a full moon and clear starry skies. To take advantage of this, observe the local map and just search for isolated places at your destination to find a spot where you can hang out and wait for the northern lights to turn up but make sure that these places that you go to are dark our sixth tip is for you to take a northern lights tour yes it can be very expensive but i still recommend it they know the best stops and the best places for you to go and sometimes when you can't find the northern lights close to where you started your tour at they would have to take you as far as possible like for example when we went on our tour we were told that we may have to go as far as finland in order to increase our chances of seeing the northern lights lucky for us we didn't have to do that we didn't actually go very far from the city center and we saw them right there but they also took us to this really cool spot by a lake where we all had a picnic and sat around the fire, just got to know all the other people who were on our tour, and it was so much fun. And in addition to this, your tour guide normally has the best photography tips as well for taking the best shots of the Northern Lights. And they also took amazing pictures of us. So here they are. Number seven, ask your hotel for a room that faces north. This is because it'll give you the opportunity to see the Northern Lights from the comfort of your own room. And in case you are wondering, we stayed at the Clarion Collection Hotel with in Tromso, which was perfect since it was right by the harbor. When we got to Tromso, I was really excited to see my hotel room because I had asked for a room that was facing the harbor. So when I got to my room, I immediately opened the windows and guess what? I had a view of a wall, literally a blank wall. So I went back downstairs to the lobby and asked them to relocate us. And thankfully they were very, very kind to actually do that. And you know what? That was the best request I had made in my entire life. And the following clip will show you why. We saw this just by opening our windows. Number eight, download an Aurora forecast app or find one online. This will help you predict the best time to see them when you're there. There are also some apps that can alert you when they are expected to be seen. The app that we used was called Aurora, 
which we found to be very useful as a planning and forecasting tool. When you open the app, you will see the KP index at the top. You can click on the probabilities to see on the map where in the world the northern lights will appear in real time. To see places where it will likely be cloudy, click on the clouds tab, and you can combine the two views as well. I really like how this app is laid out. Right below the KP index is an Aurora map with a list of exact places where the northern lights are predicted to appear. Right below the map is the tool that we found to be most helpful when planning our trip, the best locations. As you can see, specific locations are listed below. Adrian and I observed this for a few weeks before deciding to pick Tromso as our destination. And if you'd like to see what it's looking like in certain places, there is a live webcam tool at the very bottom. You can view what it's like in real time at certain places like Churchill in Canada, Fairbanks, and Sweden. Number 9. Familiarize yourself with the KP Index, which measures the disturbance of the Earth's magnetic field caused by solar winds. Basically, the higher the number, the better the experience will be. If you see 2 or above, you definitely want to be looking north, and as it gets higher, you will see more of the dancing skies that you typically come to expect from seeing the northern lights. And for our final tip, be as flexible as you can be, wrap up warm, and be patient. Seeing the northern lights is never predictable, so you want to do everything you can to maximize your chances of seeing them. This could be from delaying your booking, if that's possible, until you can see the weather forecast. Chasing the northern lights could also involve lack of sleep, or staying out in the cold for long periods of time. And be patient. Sometimes it may take a lot of searching and driving around to see them. Also, waiting could involve seconds, minutes, or even hours. So just stay calm, enjoy the moment, and be patient. But I'm telling you, once you've seen the Northern Lights, it will be unlike anything you've ever seen in your entire life. We appreciate you taking the time to watch our video. Remember, when you're hunting for the Aurora, that the journey is just as important as the destination itself. So until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Safe travels, and we can't wait to see you again soon.